Yo, what's up everybody? So, new prop from Gag Studios. I figured I'd go ahead and do a kind of a quick video review on him. I know my reviews haven't been too quick, but we're gonna try to hit, make it quick. This is Dr. Feel Fine. I know that's a funny name, but that's his name, Dr. Feel Fine from Gag Studios. He's an animated prop. Uh, I think he stands about six feet tall. Um, he's made out of foam, uh, like a lot of their other props. Uh, but yeah, he's cool though. I, I want to show you a little bit more in depth of him. Um, so let's go ahead, kind of get this closer here because he has a lot of awesome detail. Now, like I was saying, he is made out of foam. He's also got some PVC holding up his frame. Uh, and his base here is wood, which is just uh, painted black. But he has a really cool animation. Um, he pretty much just shakes constantly. On his jaw and head area, um, they uh, are on a spring, so everything moves. And it looks really, really cool. It's a nice effect. Um, now, I did have to put this guy together. Um, I got him brand new from Gag Studios, aka the Frighteners. Um, that is basically Gag Studios. Um, they sell all brand new stuff from Gag Studios. Uh, they also have a YouTube channel on here on YouTube if you want to check them out. Um, they're on eBay, they have a website. Um, but if you want to get something from Gag Studios, I recommend checking them out. Um, I do have his CD, which I won't be able to play because it is 2023 and I don't have a CD player. Um, I do have his directions as well. Because like I was saying, you do have to put them together, uh, which I'll explain right now. He is pretty easy to put together. He's not hard. Um, there was a few things I had to do that I didn't know. Um, but pretty much his head is on a spring here, which you connect to his shoulder area, which this is all made out of foam. This chest piece here and his shoulders. Um, and here, if I show you his arms, his arms here are actually made out of PVC pipe and they just connect into the shoulder area uh, with a, has a rubber washer as well as there's a nut um, and it connects right into that bolt there. And you just put this down. And as you can see, his arms aren't poseable, so you really can't get too much play out of his arms. Um, you can kind of bend this arm out a little bit, but you can't bend it up. Um, so I guess that's one downfall, but other than that, their props are really cool. Um, they have some really nice detail. Um, you can see here in his arms, it's got nice vein works. There's also a lot of very uh, uh, extra like type of skin on his arms. Um, pretty much what the concept is, he, he's supposed to look like, he's like, like as an old man. And I think they did a really good job uh, capturing that like extra skin. Uh, it does kind of look gross too. I, I really do like it. Um, see that veins there he's got some crazy looking veins um his hands are nice too he's got nice hands uh as well as here you can see his nice um pair of pliers here i was about to say a ratchet but a pair of pliers here it has a giant massive tooth with a little bit of blood on top really nice um and you can see here his boots here they're also made out of foam um forgot to mention that he does have foam padding in his legs that are uh, painted white as well. This here is a gas type of canister um, that sits in his pocket and it, you have to connect the hose into his nose here. But it's really cool. I really love that uh, effect. It definitely adds a lot to him and I think it's pretty cool. Um, and you can see here his tools here that actually are removable. You can see there. Um, if you wanted to, I guess you could take these out and put something else in there if you didn't want to use those. But I actually really love how he loves how he looks. I think they uh, they did a good job on him. I've never had a problem with Gag Studios, um, and for him being my first animated one, it's really cool because I think he's really awesome. He's definitely unique because there's not a lot of uh, doctor props out there. Um, one thing I didn't know that. He, I uh, never seen before, but he actually has a mole or a wart, whatever you want to call it, right on his chin or 
jaw. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, he does have some nice eyes. I believe they're taxidermy eyes, but I could be wrong. Magnifying glass is really neat. His like goggles set here. I think that's really cool. Uh, they did a really awesome job with the paintwork. Uh, this was all hand painted. So everything that they do is painted right here in the US and built here in the US. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have the count downstairs and I've had him for many years and he's, he's awesome. I love him so much. Um, and I've always wanted another gag studios prop. And this year, like I said, I'm doing a laboratory theme in one of my areas in my haunt. So I needed some kind of doctor scientist guy and Dr. Feel Fine was just so awesome. I knew he was going to be perfect when I got him and I, I really do love him. Um, Unfortunately, like I said, I'm not going to be able to play the sound um, of this guy, but I'll be able to play uh, at least his animation part so you can kind of see what he does here. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in here because uh, he has a lot of movement here in his head area. So you can see that very well. Let me go ahead and plug him in. Give me one second. And as you can see, like I was saying, He's got tons of movement in the head area. But yeah, that's uh that's what he does. Looks like he's having a seizure or something. But he is really cool. Go ahead and unplug him real quick. Um, so yeah, he's awesome. I love this guy. Uh, I do plan on getting some more Gag Studio props here in the future. Um, like I said, go check out Frighteners. They are uh, pretty much Gag Studio. They have so much of their stuff. Brand, brand new in the box here. Um, don't believe me here is his box um so yeah he's awesome stay tuned i do have a bunch of stuff coming in the mail i have so many things from distortions that i bought this year uh, and i'm still buying um and i have a lot of things coming from uh, haunted enterprises as well as i might get some things from uh, hallucination creations so please stay tuned. Oh yeah, Fright Props. I have some things coming from Fright Props. So yeah, please stay tuned guys um, for those videos. It probably won't be anytime soon, but hopefully that will be kind of cool. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll post videos on them. And yeah, definitely go check out, you know, Gag Studios props if you never had one before, because they have some awesome work on their, on their stuff. So thanks again. I'll see you guys later.